Hello, this video is all about looking for that inspiration to be better artists. And we look to the greats from Van Gogh to Seurat to Monet to Warhol, to name but a few. As we consider what inspired them, what characterises their style of art, and how children can use this information to create more personalised work in the classroom. As you journey through the lives of these famous artists, it's worth bearing in mind where they came from, and in many cases it can be the most humblest of beginnings. Communicating to our children, you can succeed too. Placing art side by side pose questions such as, what do you prefer? and why. Why did the artist choose these colours as opposed to other colours? And what might the shape or the line here in this abstract piece of art represent? Could it be a feeling? Could it be an object, a part of the body? And how do you feel as the audience when you view this piece of art? Continuing this art history inquiry, children can draw up a table or a table template can be offered to which they will search for facts around the room as they learn more about their focus artists. During these moments, they can build their own opinions on different work from the presentations which could also be printed off. If one chooses to print, you may click on the option to print slides. Print multiple slides per page or working with larger groups of children, choose full page. It's also worth noting the breadth of art we have to offer, ranging from the more traditional styles to the more abstract, such as Banksy, Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and even the Japanese art form of manga. And finally, do not miss out on some of the enriching tasks which link really well with these presentations. You will find a manga drawing template, a Vincent van Gogh augmented reality model, Kandinsky shape template, an Andy Warhol pattern making resource, and much, much more. Most importantly, these presentations are here to enhance your children's artwork. First, as opportunities to practice and refine techniques, then to consolidate this by perhaps copying the actual paintings by some artists, and finally applying and adapting techniques to their own compositions. So get your paint brushes at the ready and be prepared to be surprised because I know from experience that in this wonderful subject, children really do present you with something individual which you would not have even thought of yourself. This act of observing, creating and doing as it allows both them and yourselves to channel your energy and really get the most out of this wonderful subject.